Hello and good morning. Today I wanted to film my makeup routine, just my everyday run-of-the-mill makeup look that I go to. And I'll try to leave all the makeup products listed down below as well with skincare because I know I did do a few skincare products in this video as well. But if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let's get right into it. Alright, first things first, I like to use my hydrating face toner from Bobbi Brown. And I'll just use a cotton round and rub that all over my face. Okay. And next, I also use the Poppy Brown Hydrating Face Cream. It just comes in this little dupe thing. It's like a travel sized one, I think. So, to use that. Just to moisturize before I put any makeup on. And I feel like I'm very liberal with how much I use, but it's fine. And then lastly, for skincare, I use this Vitamin Enriched Face Base from Bobbi Brown yet again. I kind of use this in, like, um instead of using a primer just because I think it works just as well for me like I really don't notice that big of a difference with the primer because I use all these moisturizers anyway so once again I just rub this literally all over my face and kind of down my neck a little bit just because I like to blend my foundation in because sometimes it doesn't match entirely with my neck because I have different skin color everywhere <laughs> like all my shades are not the same so all right and then that is it for skincare and then I move on to my foundation so I use the MAC Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15 foundation it looks like such it just comes in this little tube and I will leave everything either linked or listed down below um, and then I just kind of use my hand as like a little palette <laughs> rub it on there and then I'll take a damp beauty blender and pat it all over my face I don't use a primer like I said just because I've tried in the past to use primers and I honestly don't notice that big of a difference with them except for like the negative $30 in my bank account so I just keep to my skincare routine and I feel like my foundation looks just the same with or without primer so but then again I use a lot of moisturizer so I feel like that kind of cancels out. And just for reference, I have pretty normal skin. I really don't find that I've got dry skin unless it's like the winter time. Um, and I really don't have oily skin either, so my products don't break me out typically. Um, and I found products that kind of work for non-oily, non-dry skin. Yeah, so after I finish my foundation, I'll go over it with concealer and I just started using the MAC Studio Fix 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer. It looks like this. Probably can't see like the white font, but um, there we go. <laughs> like such. Um, and it has this nice little applicator. I was using a um, like pot concealer, which I wasn't the biggest fan of just because I had to have a separate applicator to put it on and I feel like especially with traveling it was like a hassle. Um, I really like this one a lot. It's just very easy and quick to put on. And also I probably should mention this. My foundation is in the color N4 and then this is in the color NC15 which means that it's more of a cool tone color which works really well for me because I like have a lot of redness on my face that I don't like whether that's blemishes or just my cheeks are pretty red so um the cool tone of the concealer actually helps cancel out any redness and it also helps with under the eye stuff as well 
So that's a little tip that I learned for concealer is go, if you're dealing with like redness or discoloration, um, go like a cooler tone so that it cancels out that coloring. And it works fairly well for me, so. I always feel like my face is not blended in enough, so. And then lastly for the face, I'll use, once again, MAC Studio Fix, um, this powder plus foundation in the color N4. It just looks like such, and I'm back if you're curious. Um, and this actually comes with a little like pad to use as an applicator, which is nice because I can like take this with me, and I already have like a like a brush, I guess. So, and I always have difficulty with my powder brushes. I don't know why, but all my powder brushes that I've ever had shed. And I hate that so much because then I get little hairs on my face and it's a pain. And I found that these three products um, work really well together and they're very buildable. They are full coverage for the most part and you can build it up if you want more. Especially with the powder, I found that the powder helps reduce the appearance of blemishes on top of the concealer really well and it just looks really nice all together, so. And I've been using MAC products since I first went into makeup and I have tried other foundations but I like the MAC one the most just because I feel like it's lightweight for me. I feel like a lot of people say that it's not lightweight but I think it's lightweight um, and yet it's still pretty full coverage. It's not like super heavy in comparison to the other full coverage foundations that I've tried, so. Alright, moving on. Okay, um, I got this Sigma brush set a long time ago. This is just the um, large angled contour F40 brush from Sigma. I think it's like the Miss Bunny kit. Um, and then for everyday makeup, I'll either use my MAC Melba brush, uh, blush. <laughs> it, I'll open it up actually. It's just kind of a natural color, I guess. It looks pretty dark here, but it really doesn't show up that dark on the skin. Or I'll use, let me find it. It's like almost all gone. This is literally my first blush that I've ever gotten. Um, Tenderling. I don't know if they sell this anymore because I've loved art for it before, but I've hit pan on it, but I love this. It's again very natural and they both look really good on the skin. Um, so if I'm looking for a natural look, I'll switch between the two. I'll probably use Tenderling today. And this one, you kind of have to build it up if you really want to see it, just because it is kind of faint. But it does give you a nice natural finish, which I like. It's not too overwhelming. And I just put it kind of on the apples of my cheek, but then I'll sweep it up. Like I said, you really have to build it up if you want to see a lot of color, so. But if you don't really want that much color, this is a good blush because you really get to choose how much color you get with it. But it is very, very natural, which looks really good on the skin, so. Alright, and then if I'm doing everyday makeup, I usually won't do highlighter. But if I am going to add highlighter, I'll do the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Show Gold. This looks really nice on the skin. I feel like it's very natural. And I feel like there's a little bit of pink to it when you actually like put it on the skin, but it looks like such. Yeah, I can, I don't know if you can see like sparkle wise. <laughs> I don't know, it's very, if you're fair skinned, I think this looks really good on your skin because it's not like super colorful. It kind of blends in a little bit too, but you get that sparkle. For everyday makeup, I usually don't do highlighter. Sometimes my blushes will have a little sparkle in them, so I don't do highlighter with that. Okay, moving on to eyes. I use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Original. I feel like everyone knows what this looks like, but there you go. Um, and I'll just put that all over my eyes. 
and then I'll take a beauty blender and blend that in a little bit. And then for every day, I like to use the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. It looks like that. And the colors are really natural and nice. They're very light and a lot of nudes and browns. This one is showing up really dark. It's not that dark. <laughs> it looks like black, but it's more of like a dark brown. Um, honestly, I kind of switch it up between all the colors in here. Um, my favorite is probably the bottom rail, like the Lace Teddy, um, the All Natural, and the Hookup. Those are probably my favorite three to use, and I do use all three. So I start with a little blending brush, and I take the middle color typically, so All Natural, and I'll just put that in my crease and kind of blend that all around. <laughs> And by no means am I like a beauty expert, I just do this every day, so I figured I would share. Um, and I usually stick to the same kind of layout with eyeshadow, like I'll do like the medium color in the crease and then a dark color in the outer corner and, and blend it into a lighter color, so that's pretty much what I do every day. Um, and I'll just switch up all the colors that I use when I do that. And then um, I will take kind of a smaller fluffy brush. <laughs> this is the Morphe M507. It just looks like that. It's kind of a fluffy brush, but it's a lot smaller. And then I'm going to take this color right here next to the All Natural. I just put that in the outer corner and kind of blend it into the crease so that it doesn't look too crazy. When it comes to eyeshadows, I like to, I like the neutral colors, and I really like browns. I don't know why, but I feel like brown kind of goes with everything in a sense. I feel like that's kind of an odd thing to say, but when it comes to eyeshadow, I feel like whatever I'm wearing, if I'm wearing like a brown or like a, a natural brown color on the eyes, it looks really good with pretty much anything that I wear that day. So this is pretty much why this is my everyday makeup look, because it kind of goes with anything and everything. And then I'll go back in with that fluffy brush from Morphe, or um, from Sigma, and I'll take again that all natural middle color and kind of just blend out that corner so that it doesn't look like choppy or anything. I think you guys probably can't tell at all what I'm doing, but. <laughs> oh well. Okay, and then lastly, I'll take. Um, this is probably one of my newest brushes, and it's kind of my favorite right now because it's, it's really big and chunky. <laughs> um, I like it for the lid because it really gets everything. It's the Morphe M524, and I'm going to take this bottom lace teddy. It's very nice. It's kind of like a peachy color on here, but it really just shows up like a tinted white on the eye, I feel like. But I think it's a really nice natural color that makes your eyes kind of pop, it kind of wakens you up a little bit, or at least it seems. Okay. And <laughs> when I was younger, I used to watch these videos, and they always like did their eyelids first and did all their um, eyeshadow first so that they didn't do, like, didn't get fallout or anything. I've tried doing that before, and I don't know why, but it just doesn't feel right when I do my eyeshadow first. I don't understand why, but it just, like, doesn't work with me. So, <laughs> I always do it kind of in the last. Like, I'll do my face first, and then I'll work my way to the eyes. And then, I need to do my eyebrows. For eyebrows, I use the Anastasia, um... Brow Powder Duo. I like the powder. I've never really tried the pencil. They kind of scare me. Um, and then I just have the color blonde because I'm blonde, so. And then I have another brush. <laughs> I use the Sigma Small Angle Brush. It's the E65. And I kind of do a blend of the two different colors. I'll use the darker color to kind of line the brow and then use it on the outside. 
um, or the outer part of the brow, and then the lighter color, I'll use that more on the part near my nose so that it kind of gets that blended gradient, if that makes sense. I don't know, I feel like powders are very easy to control. I don't, I really haven't, I've never tried like the pencils or the gel. I don't know, they just kind of scare me. And I also do not use a, um, a brow gel like to hold your brows in place. Um, I just don't find the need for it. I feel like my eyebrows pr uh, stay pretty well and I don't really find that they like move out of place. I don't know, I've never tried it before, but maybe I should, I don't know. I spend the most time on my eyebrows. I could literally sit here for about 20 more minutes and do these. I'm so particular about them. But anyways, yeah, I don't use a brow gel. Um, for the most part, I keep my eyebrows pretty much like, maintained, if that makes sense. Like I'll do them quite often and I'll trim them as well. So I feel like I don't really need to stick them down just because they're, for the most part, they're trimmed and tamed, so I don't know, maybe I'll try it and maybe it'll be like a world of a difference and then I'll have to keep using it, but I also feel like I stick with all the same brands of makeup and I like when I find something that I like I really don't change it up. Like I've had the MAC foundation not that one, but like I rebuy it and I've had it for probably like four or five years. Like I've rebought it so many times. Because like I'll, I'll try something different and then I, it just won't work the same. And then I'll be like, oh, I should have never left my true and trusted. So basically, when I find something that I like, I pretty much stick to just that and don't really change it up. But and I think that applies to a lot of things in my life. Like even at Starbucks, when I find like my favorite drink, like I really don't change it up. Like I'll just get that drink. Same with music. <laughs> Probably should switch that up, but. Okay. Eyebrows, check. And then after eyebrows, um, I'll set my face with a setting spray. I don't like to do that before or after my mascara because I feel like when I do that after mascara, my mascara will like bleed almost. So I'll do this before I do my mascara. Um, I just use the Urban Decay D Slick um, Makeup Setting Spray Oil Control. I don't really have a problem with oil, but um, let's see if that'll focus. <laughs> I don't know why my camera is not focusing, but close enough. And I'll just fan myself afterwards because <laughs> I probably put way too much on, but <laughs> okay. Um, for mascara, I really go between three different ones. I'll just show them all because I really, I use them all. Um, <laughs> my favorite is this YSL Baby Doll Mascara. Just like, I love this thing. It's not clumpy or anything. It's never been clumpy for me. Even when, I find like when I first open mascaras, they'll be clumpy and then I'll like get rid of the clumps or whatnot after I use them for a while. But this has never been clumpy for me. Um, it's more of a lengthening one. It's a very thin applicator and it's very like evenly applied. I love this thing. Um, however, I did buy, I don't remember why I bought these. I think I thought this one was running out. This one is pretty expensive. So I bought these Maybelline ones, which have worked pretty well. The only thing with these is that I find they kind of like smear when I put them on, like they'll get places that they shouldn't be. Whereas with the YSL, I feel like it just like doesn't move, which is nice. Like I never find it like on my little lash liner, on my eyelid or anything. But these ones I found there and I don't really like that, but they work pretty well. Just the Colossal Big Shot and then the um, Lash Sensational. Um, these ones are fairly nice. This one has that tip. I think I use the Sensational a little bit more than the Colossal, but This tip is a little bit different just because it's like curved, if that makes sense, I don't know. 
Um, I'll probably use this one and then this one for my lower lash line just because again like I said this one doesn't smear or like doesn't bleed or anything. So. And then sometimes what I'll do is, I literally didn't even curl my lashes. Sometimes what I'll do is apply like one of the Maybelline ones and then go over it with the baby doll just because I feel like this one's the baby doll's a little bit more lengthening. Which your girl needs because I feel like my eyebrows or eyelashes are like little stuff. Even on no makeup days, what I'll do is just put on mascara because I have blonde eyelashes and it looks like I'm a naked mole rat, as my best friend would say. <laughs> I'm so terrible at putting on mascara. I literally get it everywhere, which is why it's nice and handy to have these little Q-tips <laughs> so that I can just wash it away like it never happened. The one thing about these mascaras is that I find they just get everywhere and like they'll be really close to my lash line but they'll be like on my eyelid and that bothers me so much because like no one else can see it but when I go to the mirror I'll like inspect myself and I'll find it and it'll bother me but but also I'm not too bothered enough to do something about it so okay and then Probably go over that top lash line with this mascara so that I get a little bit more length. And I did make sure that those um, Maybelline ones were waterproof so that this summer I can wear mascara to the pool. <laughs> And once again, I'm going to go back in with a Q-tip and then just kind of like fix my eyelid because I have mascara all over. Alright, and then um, what I like to do on top of that is um, use this little lip scrub from Lush. It's just this one in Honey. Please focus. Please focus. We love when it's focused. There we go. Um, and I just take a little bit on my finger and then kind of just rub it all over my lips. Like just a little tad. I probably can't even do that. And then I just lick it off, all the extra, and then pretty much all that I do in regards to that. So let me see if I can. Okay, so probably can't even see that like the eyes are that like glamorous or anything. They're pretty just natural, but. That's pretty much all that I do. Sometimes if I'm feeling crazy, I'll put on some lip gloss or something, but for the most part, I don't because I like to eat and what's the point of putting on makeup or lipstick when I have to eat? So I don't really do that. 
yeah that is the makeup look that i usually do every morning all right guys that is it for my everyday makeup routine i hope you guys like this video and give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe down below for more content and i will see you in the next one